Well, where are we? And well, I mean, we're, we're, just, we're just near Flagstaff in northern Arizona, and we're in the San Francisco Peaks volcanic field. And there's something like a thousand of these volcanoes around here. And the little one behind us here, we call that a cinder cone volcano. You call that a little one? Yeah, well, it is. That one's about 900 feet high. You imagine from the base of where you observe to its top, you know, Mount St. Helens is about 8,000 feet high, and it blew the top off when the 1980 eruption. This thing, there would have been cinders that were blown up, hot rock bubbled up molten material and it cooled up there in the air and then dropped down and gradually built that, that cone shape. But here behind us, we can see where at some point it spilled out of the cone and it, it ran across the ground. We can see it right into the distance out here. Just a huge amount of, of basalt, lava. Yeah, but it's actually small compared to the lava flows that we see in many places. We see lots of indications of catastrophic geological processes in the past, not just one line of evidence, volcanoes, radioactive decay is another line of evidence. Andrew, I understand that you and a number of other scientists got together and you focused on this issue for a number of years. Yes. What did you find? Well, it was an eight year program. There was a, a, a group of us, a physicists, geologists, we wanted to find out, you know, whether radioactive decay had really occurred. Mm. You know, could we trust these dating methods? And we, we followed a number of lines of investigation that we divided amongst ourselves, but we interacted. Well, that is the point that has brought me to you 